Today's story is sponsored by Carolina Pain and Wellness. Hey folks, Rainy Romero here with Living Local Carolina. I'm at Carolina Pain and Wellness where I'm gonna chat with Dr. Wiseman about the facility and Lisa who's gonna share her struggle of addiction with us. So Lisa, will you tell me kind of a little bit about your journey now that you're, you know, you're a recovering addict, which thank you so much for speaking with us today. I know that that's kind of a, a tough journey, but now you kind of help out with a lot of people. So can you walk me through kind of your, your life story with us? Sure. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So it took me about six years of going in and out of the program of Alcoholics Anonymous um, with relapsing and having clean time and then relapsing, clean time and relapsing. And finally something clicked. I went into treatment several times and after a couple of treatment centers, um, I finally decided it was time and I was ready to get into recovery full time and no more back and forth. Um, now when did this start? Like how long were you kind of an addict? Well. If I really think about it, I've probably been an addict from the day I picked up a drink, which was when I was 15. Okay. Um, but I, the, my struggles started in 2001 to 2007, so six years of that you know, constant chronic relapsing. When did you realize that you had an issue? Well, I think when my divorce was going, when I was going to get divorced mm -hmm. and um, you know, my kids were uh, young and they were being affected because I was, you know, there was fighting going on. I was leaving the house. I was leaving them unattended. Basically losing my kids was the big push to enough was enough. And now you've been clean for how long? 14 years. 14 years, congratulations. Thank you. So today we're at Carolina Pain and Wellness, which is a new facility that's offering some solutions for those struggling with addiction. Why did you feel led to kind of speak with us today? I feel that if I share my story that I could help others and Carolina Pain and Wellness is going to be a treatment place where people could come to feel safe, get support they need, get a little bit educated on the, you know, the addiction, uh, feel that there is hope. By me coming to tell you my story, it, you know that you're not alone and if I could do it, you could do it. Well, we're going to move on to Dr. Wiseman and chat with him a little bit more about the facility as well as why he decided to bring it to the area. So now I'm chatting with Dr. Wiseman. How are you today? Good, thank you. Good. So I'm very curious to hear kind of why you decided to open up the center here. Well, the community needs it. Um, we are a group of physicians and counselors and addiction specialists who have been in the community for a very long time. And we are in touch with the community and we have seen the opioid crisis and how it has affected this community. Okay. So, you know, what exactly do you offer here that can help with that? Well, the approach is a little differently um, than, than a lot of other clinics. The way we approach things is everyone's an individual. Everyone has their own baggage, their own life, their own way of dealing things. And rather than just putting someone into a cookie cutter program where you just take money and give them a service, uh, we use a group of specialists that get to understand the person, understand where they are, and, and build a treatment plan that allows them to not only grow and move forward, but to feel secure in that, to have hope that they're gonna come out the other end and turn into the person they envision themselves being. And we are here to support that and help them through that. Uh, we also work very, very hard at educating people because there's this huge stigmatism sure. of addiction in this area where it's not seen as a medical problem. It's seen as some kind of mental dysfunction yep. or you're crazy or you're not strong enough or all these other negative things that are attached to it. And we try to educate so they understand that that's not it, how it is. Now, we may not be able to change the mind of the community, but we can help the person who's struggling with this understand they're not alone. Right. This is not abnormal. There's hope and we can get you through it. I love that. I love your approach. It's very human, which is great. Well, that's what medicine is. It's about humanity. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much, Dr. Wiseman, for chatting with us today. And of course, the team at Carolina Pain and Wellness. Thanks so much for watching Living Local. We'll be right back. Today's story is sponsored by Carolina Pain and Wellness.